Hello all, welcome to my channel Tech Research and in today's video it is a very interesting and very helpful topic that is citation generator using Quillbot. I have made a series of video on using Quillbot and what are the different pros and cons, how you to use it, what are the different ways. But recently Quillbot has initiated a new feature that is citation generator which is amazing and unique. For all the researchers working out there, it is very helpful. So let, let's quickly see what is the video. Uh, so let's quickly see the demo of it. We will just write the Quillbot in, the, in our internet browser. And as you can see, there are different options here. I have made a very particular video in detail about each of the features because I, I just love using this tool. It is amazing. So this is the now which I was speaking that is citation generator in this app in the, in this video. So let's go and click on the link, click on this citation generator tab. And the first important thing is citation in which style you want the citations. There are n different formats. They have covered, I think, most of the formats, which is amazing. Usually it is APA 6th or 7th edition. Choose you as per your writings, select one. And then again, there are three sources here. That is website, book and journal article. I uh, have to go ahead for each. For example, journal article. If we are looking some citations for journal, Let's assume if you are aiming to write some speech to text review paper. Just give you an example. So speech to text review paper, there will come a different number of review papers. You have to read the each review. Let's assume you have read this review and now you have read this paper and now you want to cite it. So just simply click on the click and say cite. It will automatically collect the title, the citation year, the full citation, everything it will cover. So let's do one more thing. Let's see, like for example, let's go to Google Scholar and let's open some research papers. So you'll get a more clear idea. Again, I'll write speech to text recognition. Okay, so this is the paper okay i have read this paper now I've, I've, i have collected my notes i have added it now i want to give a citations so what you will do you just have to copy this link here and go now this is a website okay you get the point you are here we are writing a website now go here type url and say site and say generate say journal article and say search it will come up with the paper that we are looking for like as you can see it came up with different papers you have to select which one you are looking for so for this is the journal article type in specific it will the more specific you are the more clear result it will give give it some time yes so it came up with so many options so many different uh, uh, it's a research whatever the research it is having whatever the research papers it is having you have to select the particular one and which one is your relevant and type in that and select that particular one so for example this is what we are looking for so just to say site so let's assume if we have read some more research papers and just in this way you just have to cite it select and cite you can also uh, here it has provided so many options like open citation source or you can check what if it is right you can edit it you can delete and you can just copy the full citation whatever you have and then let's assume we have done like two to three just for example then it is downloaded in bib text form and latex form and also in word file and also in the json format whichever format you want your citations towards the end let's let me show you with a word format so just download it so the word file is opening in which you will see the citations which have been used in our research paper can you see here this is the way we have called our citations and exactly that's the way how it is working you can also try it with bibtex this is the bibliography which has been uh, opened and which has been saved around in this way you can work try it out and 
create your own citations very easily with the help of journal, article, book, website, whatever it is more comfortable for you. And this is the amazing feature of Quillbot and I just can't stop loving myself or using this feature every day. Give it a try and let me know what was this helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned with me. Before leaving, please subscribe to my channel Tech Research for updated notifications. See you in next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.